Visit us at Eduvo. Thank you for calling Eduvo. Hey everybody, welcome to the beginner friendly course of Flutter, where we will be learning how to make Android and iOS applications. Our aim of this course is to understand Flutter in the easiest way possible and to build beautiful app and two favorite applications for which you probably clicked on this video. One of them is the Piss Simulator to avoid social interactions because I know that you all are nerds. <laughs> and second is the Magic Calculator, which we will be using to build and fool our friends into thinking that we know magic. Okay, so before actually starting to build and understanding the basic concepts, let's look at some of the basics of Flutter itself. Now, one thing that I want to tell you before I proceed, why you should get this course. I will be giving out complete transparency. So I will not edit out any errors that I will get. I will not make the course too complicated. Since no prerequisites are required for this course, this course will be explained in the easiest language possible. And there isn't a better course out there and I'm telling you this today. That is why you should try to get this course. I know that some of you have already bought the course, but I will be making this particular video available for everyone to see so that they can get the idea if they want to explore Flutter with me or not. Okay, so now let's quickly jump to the next section, which is what is Flutter, right? Flutter is not a programming language. Flutter is a framework and Flutter is the fastest mobile UI framework right now to build applications. Now, you can also build iOS applications and Android applications with the same code base in Flutter. Flutter is not a programming language, the language is Dart. Now, what is the difference between a programming language and a framework? So what is a framework? If I give you the proper explanation, in computer programming, a software framework is an abstraction in which software provided generic functionality, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no one will ever see that definition, I know. I was reading that definition from Google anyways. So framework is basically, you can say a tool. If I try to give you an oversimplified explanation, Framework is a tool which you can use to build beautiful applications or beautiful softwares. Okay. And Dart is the language which you will use to access those frameworks. So Flutter and Dart both were built by Google only. Okay. So as I told you, you can just use a single code base to build different applications and even different teams are not required. That is the biggest advantage of Flutter. You don't have to make separate Android teams and separate iOS teams to build your application. You can just do with one team and scalability is really easy with Flutter. Also, one of the main features of why Flutter is famous is because it has hot reload, which basically helps you to see your changes in real time. You do not have to rebuild your entire application again and again, like other frameworks out there. And you can just save the file and the hot reload performs and you can see the changes in real time. So let's see what is Dart. Dart is the programming language built by Google which we will be using to code in Flutter or code with Flutter. So Dart is actually a very easy programming language and you can understand Dart even without no prior experience with a coding language. Okay. Or with programming in general. So Dart is an object oriented based programming language. So what does that mean? It means that it uses the concepts of classes, objects, inheritance, and etc. I know that this might sound a bit complicated, but it's actually really easy. It's easier than watering your plants, <laughs> trust me. And I will teach you these concepts, so don't worry. Also, as I told you that the same code base can be used for both Android and iOS. This makes Flutter and Dart really good. So Dart can run without any modification and also Flutter can run without any modification in both iOS and Android devices. Lastly, null safety. Null safety is really great because it helps you minimize your errors and crashes throughout your application. And we will be looking at null safety briefly when we start to code. So guys, what are you waiting for? Let's quickly jump to installation of Flutter. Let's go.